Hello, in this episode of Mega Bugs Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a development from Eason called E-Silk Jack Inth, Jack Inth or something. I will show you a label, <laughs> but stick around and I'll show you more after the intro. So, like I said, this filament called, called E Silk from Eason. I'm going to show you the label. I'm sometimes unable to say the words <laughs> written Jack Inth. Jack Inth. I don't know how to, how to say this, but here they say the print settings should be uh, just normal PLA settings. Uh, quite normal, uh, but cooling low or none, they say. So, there's something. Uh, something there different than normal PLA but E-Silk PLA is similar to PLF filament with good mechanical properties and good toughness it is environmentally friendly and non-toxic compared with the traditional PLA the silk high gloss material has a bright silk cluster silk highlight PLA printing materials can be widely used in large curved surfaces surface models and practical products such as furniture, accessories, decorations, outdoor decorations, and other fields. So <laughs> basically, you can use this for, for whatever that needs to look good. And, uh, I don't know the, the properties of this uh, filament for outdoor applications. Normally, PLA doesn't do very well. <laughs> but uh, let's look at some of the prints. So here's your layers a lot. And as you can see, it's extremely shiny. It looks really nice, and, and, and I didn't have any issues with the prints. Uh, they look extremely good, and it's really shiny. And so the silk uh, effect on the filament is is coming through. So this is looking really nice. And like I said, no issues. Here's the Otis model, and here's. Um, the issue I had with cooling, it melted a little bit because I was having cooling turned to a very low, I think 15% or something, or 20%. So here in the top part I had an issue um, because of low cooling. Um, here's the maker coin that came out really nice. No, no issues with that one. Um, here with uh, Mr. Belly uh, came out pretty nice, but here in the head I had uh, drooping issues because of low amount of cooling. So this was apparent that I need to do have some cooling for this part. So I reprinted with uh, like PLA settings with normal cooling settings, uh, and then it came out pre pretty nice. But, uh, you can see uh, the difference this without proper cooling and this with, with cooling. Um, comparing uh, the <laughs> force needed to, to break the parts. Uh, uh, the part with cooling is a little bit more brittle. Still, it's quite tough. So I don't think it will hurt in the strength too much to have cooling. So I don't know if they... I recommend to turn off cooling. But it might be uh, some reason for it, <laughs> but uh, at least uh, turning off the part cooling for for a part like this, you can either turn on cooling or slow it down. But that was uh, basically the only issue I had with this filament. So that will be it for this video, the Eason E Silk uh, filament. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.